<clears throat> Hi, in this tutorial video we are going to go over the new uh, IGBT level 2 model um, and to get to that we're just going to use the help function here and look for the test circuit. So if we type in IGBT we should see all of the IGBT related things and help and the example circuit with the level 2 is here. We'll just open that up. And this level 2 added in version 11.1 is uh, essentially a more realistic device model for an IGBT um, as opposed to a, an ideal device. So this device now uses a voltage referenced uh, over here to the source of the switch and um, the parameters for this device, this is uh, an IXYS device here, the IIXXH. So we've got the data sheet here and we can look at the parameters and how they drive in. So 650 volts uh, for VCE is there. Uh, gate threshold voltage uh, comes from uh, it right here, VGE. Um, VEC is set to 15, and that's basically the reverse uh, reverse flow since there's no copac diode on here. It um, is set um, higher uh, like this. Um, what else are we looking at here? Um, transconductance, 52. Uh, if we come in here, we're looking here at transconductance. The numbers are here. Uh, capacitance values, these come from uh, these numbers here. So IES, OES, and RES are these numbers uh, right here. And then uh, RCE on, basically that's the on uh, resistance. So you would need to go and calculate that from the slope of the curve at whatever operating point you're looking at, whatever VGE you're looking at, and then uh, finally th uh, the threshold as well. So that's the uh, the forward conduction voltage drop, and then an internal gate resistor. Uh, setting this to around five is a good uh, is a good guess. Um, essentially, you're going to need to tune this value in order to make the operation characteristics look uh, sort of match as to what they're doing here. And uh, yeah, so once you've got that set up, we can run the simulation. So in this instance, we're just uh, basically mimicking the inductive uh, load uh, uh, test, so 55 amps, and then we've got, um, so we're switching it on and off here. And if we run this simulation, so this is a PSIM simulation. So if you run this, we can look at things like the collector current here. Um, so we'll let this uh, run, and maybe I don't need to let it run all the way uh, stop it. Uh, so there's probably good enough. And uh, we'll load the uh, simulation results up. And uh, we can look at the uh, collector current. And we can see what that looks like. And again, we can load up the curves here and pull up the star. So we can see um, that this transition was in fact uh, simulated. Uh, so that's the on side, and then if we uh, zoom back out and take a peek at the off transition, what that looks like uh, there. And then we can also take a quick peek at things like, um, if we look at the instantaneous power lost, we can see this is the on, uh, on losses. So the um, if we pull up the voltage across the device here, so there's the voltage across, if we look in. So this um, power loss is the switching loss, and that's basically the current times the voltage here. And then if we uh, come back and look at the off side, this is giving us the, um, the off losses as well, so the integral here. Um, and then you can compare these numbers versus the data sheet. So this, this model is uh, not meant to be a, oh yeah, we can also look at the, um, at the gate voltage here, V gate, and what that looks like. So here's a look at the gate voltage uh, on the on transition. Okay, so yeah, this model is not meant to be a, uh, a perfect replication of the SPICE model. It's meant to provide more detail than the ideal switch, so this model you can, you can run it with motor drive uh, simulations or with digital control. It is a piece of model. Um, you know, coming up with the parameters here, there's uh, information inside of the uh, help. So have a look to see uh, what the information is here. And um, yeah, so again, this model, and not meant to be a, a spice uh, replacement, but it provides more detail than the ideal switch and the numbers come in off, off the data sheet. So you'll need to, um, 
uh, pick appropriate values based on your operating conditions, what your VGE will be and what the current will be, etc., to ensure that you have uh, a good match here. Okay, that's it for uh, this tutorial video. Um, look for more videos covering new releases of version 11.1.